Patriots. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. Fielded right around the eight. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Ready. Smith Red. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, this defense for the Lions, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back back the pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line 21 yards there on third down I don't care how many times we see it I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the okay. pass trick in pregame warm-up but I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They get this to Beckham on the perimeter. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and four. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Now a play fake. Lance. Oh, wide open. Complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. On Al Beckham. His second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like... Tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Throwing Jones out to his left to the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six.
Now Jones. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Pats are going to take over at their own 41. He's on quite the interception run. He had two last week. Another one here. Remember, he's not a DB. He's a linebacker. But how many of those linebackers started as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same. Right, the coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he is paying it off in a big, big way. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. That 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. A read option, here's Montgomery. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Off of play action, here's Lance. His throw incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Lance. Thomas has got it, complete. He's got room at the 30, and he's got room. Now he's loose, down the left sideline. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie, because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Pete Werner, and the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. 
and then looked up and realized he's still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Lance going to sneak it, and it'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. Defensively, not just getting sacks, we have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Ready. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Lance, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And this oh, offense on third down today, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. Into the hands of Patrick, left side. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Montgomery, oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Here we go. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Ready? They try again with Montgomery. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. David Montgomery with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. 
Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. To throw again on second down, Jones. And this one is incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They run again with Harris. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. To throw on second and six, Jones. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Jones on third and two. Across the formation, he hits Austin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got his big tight end, fan. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Throwing again on second down. Jones, this will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards. And third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Okay, CD, second quarter, look at their deficit and where they're at on the field. They're going for this, right? I think that they are because down at this point, they've just made that big move. Ride the momentum wave while you can. I know people think, hey, you've got to get some points here. Hey, you're riding it big time. Go get it done. Now this time he'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. 
Romeo Dobbs as the first half is winding down. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point from McManus is good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here we go. Here and you see go. the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. But one more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Time over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 37 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Down to about the 22 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
On third down, here's Harris. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Calvin Austin, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Lions' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Back to Montgomery on second down. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Shotgun now for Lance. He completes it to Beckham. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The end result, 21 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense, and know what they say. Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Play action, now it's Lance. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's got a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. On play action, Lance. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from Harm, incomplete. 
Now it's third down. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Ready? Throwing his lance on third down. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay a one-score game as the lead will hold at six. Those are the kicks that you were. You might have to confront again in the end. You had a chance to go up by two scores here in the third quarter, but your kicker can't convert. Okay. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. the play fake Jones he'll get that one to Carter complete and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled first down Lions on a pickup of 13 and here we are in the fourth quarter partner and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown and you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there not just for himself but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Off play action. Jones. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. They hand this off to Harris. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Romeo Dobbs with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. A very important extra point there. Up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. 
And he returns this to the 22. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and holler, and it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves that one a first down pickup of eight i like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what the guy catching the ball he'll get all the credit but how about the people up to block in front of him either fellow receivers or offensive linemen that makes that play a really nice timing play and sometimes it can break big and a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four not a whole lot there. The defense was ready and looked for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Gray Green. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. He finds his target. Back him. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. And Lance now to throw. He gets it to Thomas. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. But he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Lance looking to throw. Finding his big receiver, Patrick, over the middle. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they take in the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. 
And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, that might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Yo, Blue. Here's Lance. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Jones. And this is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. To throw is Jones. Pass complete to Harris. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Here's Jones. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. incomplete so they can't convert for two but they still have the lead as we get toward the end of the fourth after the touchdown here's McManus now to kick it away take it in at the three and he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23 The Pats at the line, ready to go. That last drive, it's a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out.
From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Lance back to throw. Pass complete. Thomas. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. One final try now for Lance. He's got Thomas yet again complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Lions, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they drop below 500 